Tecklinked. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. Or like three weeks. I'm back now, hi! Ha! <laughs> Rumors of a dual screen Surface device from Microsoft have been circulating for months and now a leaked email indicates it might be a phone, or at least, phone sized. The project, codenamed Andromeda, has been popping up in patent applications and concept images and is expected to run a core version of Windows 10 rather than a spin-off OS like Windows Phone. May it rest in peace. That was like the Windows logo, but anyways. But if Microsoft is planning on releasing such a device this year, they better get the software ready because right now, it doesn't look like Windows 10 is ready for such a small form factor. But if they do get it together, could Andromeda be the key to finally linking the worlds of desktop and handheld computing and not just a more different version of a Star Trek TV show? I, I, I don't know, I didn't really watch it. I couldn't stop seeing Hercules. Move over Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. Soon you may be playing on a Google gaming console. Probably not, but this is interesting, so let's talk about it. We've been hearing about Project Yeti for some time, which involves some sort of streaming platform, hardware, and developer involvement. But sources have now told Kotaku that Google reps met with several big video game companies about Yeti at the Game Developers Conference and at E3, not just about cooperation, but about potentially buying development studios. Now, as I alluded to at the beginning of this paragraph, this isn't really a big reason to get excited yet, primarily because Project Yeti sounds like it relies on a streaming platform like GeForce Now, and low-end hardware like the Ouya, both of which haven't exactly been astounding successes. But I'm sure Google is excited about trying out yet another way to squeeze more data slash money out of you. There's always more to squeeze. And hey, how about some lighthearted news after that story, huh? China's made an assault rifle that shoots lasers. Okay. Researchers in the People's Republic have developed a prototype laser assault rifle about the size of an AK-47 called the ZKZM-500. The weapon can set a target's clothes and skin on fire from a distance of 800 meters or about half a mile away, including through windows. So don't worry about that. It's completely silent and its beam is invisible, producing pain that is beyond endurance, according to its makers. Lovely. Well, at least when there's shootouts with these things, they'll be nice and quiet. Except for the burning people. It's time for not rapid news morsels or fast tidbits. It's Quick Bits, brought to you by ourselves. And don't you forget it. Come celebrate ourselves with us in person at LTX 2018. It's our meetup and tech event coming up on July 14th. That's in two weeks. It's at the Richmond Olympic Oval here in beautiful British Columbia. Meet the Linus Tech Tips team and participate in everything from a cable management challenge to a LAN tournament to VR, 12K gaming stations, and more. Look, there's a list, you can read it. Tickets are just 35 bucks Canadian about the cost of bubblegum in the States and you can buy them at the link below or at ltxexpo.com. On to the quick bits! There have been lots of rumors about NVIDIA's 11 series GPUs, but the most reliable ones seem to point to an August 21st announcement, since NVIDIA has apparently been sending invites to the press to get there. Allegedly. Possibly. Don't get mad at me if it's wrong. Please. Comcast was being Comcast this weekend. After a nationwide network outage, which has since been fixed, the ISP announced they'll be rolling out a 480p video quality streaming limit while using cellular data, but you'll be able to pay for 720p later this year if you want that kind of luxurious quality. <sighs> You're spoiled. Bethesda says Fallout 6 won't have cross-platform play because Sony isn't down with it. But since when are we expecting cross-play from a multiplayer shooter that hasn't even released yet? It seems more like a nice bonus thing than a get your pit fork thing, but uh, you know, I don't know. Who am I? Disney has made full-on robot acrobats that can serve as stunt doubles, which is great, because at least now we can get a nice spectacle as they cartwheel and flip down the street to kill us. Very cool. Right after they finally added Google Maps to CarPlay, Apple is giving Maps another go, and it's gonna be way better this time. Way smoother and way cooler than those other maps. Oh, trust me, you want it. Go Google Maps? Psh, not cool, no. And hey, you like your dual camera phone? Nice. How about nine cameras? Light, the same company that made a 16 lens camera is working on a smartphone with up to nine cameras on the back, which reportedly could compete with DSLRs in terms of quality and trigger people's tryptophobia. Tryptopho tryptophobia. 
And that's it for Tech Link, my friends. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tech news. Don't subscribe if you hate tech news. Like if you're like, ugh, technology and computers and stuff, ugh, that, ugh, that's the worst. If you're like that, don't subscribe. You definitely won't like what we're making here. It's pretty much, it's all that kind of stuff.